good morning and welcome back to my channel i'm just taking a little advantage of this moment which is very sunny in my room i'm just getting a bit warm myself my room because we had two very cold and rainy weeks here in london also you didn't see me for two weeks almost i didn't have a chance to share pictures and videos for obvious reasons and i'm gonna tell you why new news to give you let me start with this one which is probably the most important this is the last time you will probably see this room you can see behind me some packs and everything is empty because I'm gonna move house. I'm gonna move on Sunday, this Sunday, the 18th of October. And the reason is because me and my boyfriend, we took the decision to go and live together. So it's our first experience um, for me and for him, sharing the house with partners. So um, it's an important step. We took this decision because of course, we're spending lots of money here in London. I'm paying my rent, which is so expensive. And he's paying his rent, so expensive. And we're sharing our lives and our houses with strangers. So after two years we together, we decided to just go to live together um, in preparation also of this new restriction that the government has just um, made. Uh, because this coronavirus, the second wave for the coronavirus. Everything is um, in preparation. You can see I've got boxes all around my room and I haven't completely finished um, because I'm gonna be here until Sunday. Uh, there are things I'm using every day for cooking and washing. So until Saturday evening, um, Sunday morning, probably, uh, I will still have stuff for, around. So yeah, basically me and Lorenzo, we decided to go to live together. Uh, it's an important step for both of us, um, but it's the only way to show each other that we love each other and we respect each other. Uh, I think that every couple, before to take important steps and decisions, they should do something like this. Before, you know, buying house together or before making important decisions like having families or having kids. Um, it's a good way to see if we are okay together. When we took the decision to take this house, um, I was very hurt because you know guys how much I love central London here, especially here this area, Battersea. It's the place where I've got most beautiful and bad memories um, because, you know, I spent here the six months of this uh, coronavirus uh, uh, period during the quarantine where everybody couldn't leave the house, going anywhere, uh, unless you were going for a um, run or for the activity in the park, on the street. And having Battersea Park just here behind my house, it was very good. Um, and then while I was here, I took the decision of changing a bit my lifestyle. Um, but yeah, it was very good period, a good moment, good place uh, related to the coronavirus situation. All this stressful moment of packing and unpacking, I have to say that I had also a very nice week, this one just gone, because on the 7th of October was Lorenzo's birthday. I made a very nice cake, we had a dinner um, a restaurant. It was something just between me and him because, you know, with all this situation we can't plan parties and whatever. Guys, I don't know if you realised, I did, but since I started six months ago my Healthy Lifestyle channel, Every time I get my camera on, trying to make a video, there are always noises around, or because my housemates, or because my landlady talking loudly on the phone, or making noise in the house, or these building construction things they're doing here. Like this one, can you hear that? I think they, I've got a feeling that they can hear me, and as soon as I put my camera on, they start doing works. Anyway, I'm gonna leave soon, yeah. I'm gonna leave soon. Just two days more. Hey guys, I'm back. I had to stop to make videos for a while because the noise was becoming so high and I couldn't even speak anymore at some point. I'm on my own at the moment at home. You can still hear a bit 
bit noisy in these constructors they're doing here next door but it's a bit much better than before and my landlady she's gone out as well so I'm on my own at home it's so incredible like six months I'm living in this house and I never had a moment of quiet one quiet day nothing unbelievable can I just stay all day like this I've been out of social media for a while because um, sometimes I think it's the best thing you can do, um, especially when you're really, really busy and if you spend so much time just checking continuously on Instagram, on Facebook and all the other platforms, it's just like losing time and you're not going to do anything helpful for yourself and you can compromise your mind as well. I don't know if you guys have you seen recently this um, movie on Netflix. It's called Social Dilemma. And if you haven't seen it, watch it because it's, um, it's giving you a very good view of what's happening in the world after the um, beginning of the social media. Also, this week I officially turned 30. Yeah, because on Tuesday was my birthday too. Um, to be honest, I haven't done anything special because uh, I don't like to celebrate during the week. I think you can't give the best of yourself. You can't celebrate properly. And also everybody were be busy. I was busy, so I was like, okay, I will do it just in the weekend. So tomorrow, because it's Saturday, I'm planning to do a brunch just with some closest friends. Um, we're going to be just six girls. Um they are my absolutely my best friends here in London. Uh, five girls, different nationality. Two of them are Italians, two of them are Spanish. One is French. And yeah, with them I had the best memories here in London. And then on Sunday we're going to have a dinner with Lorenzo. Um, I booked in a very special place here in London. He doesn't know where we're going. Um, but yeah, I hope he will like it. Now what I'm planning to do is I'm going to have a dinner and then I'm going to start making my own cake because I'm planning some very nice cake. Uh, I'm going to make the base tonight and then tomorrow morning I will decorate. Hopefully it will be okay because I found an example of this cake on the internet. It's my dream cake so yeah what better occasion for this lovely cake. I'll keep you updated on the cake progression. Good morning everybody. So you've just seen the picture of my birthday cake. I finished this morning to decorate and it's ready to go. Uh, it's actually very, very easy cake. What I've done, I prepared the base yesterday. Well, prepared. I bought the short crust because it's a long process to do the short crust at home and you need all the tools um, like a rolling pin and everything and I don't have it. Uh, also, I packed all my kitchen stuff so I, I wanted to do something very easy to make. So I did the short crust yesterday. I just um, did the draw of the 3 and the 0, 30, which is my age. And then this morning I woke up quite early and I made the cream, which is basically the same cream we're using for the uh, tiramisu, which is made with uh, uh, whipped cream and some mascarpone cheese and a bit of sugar, that's it. Some people, they put some eggs inside, other people, they're using like vanilla essence, but I just, um, I decided to make very easy, very simple and not too much complicated because you know healthy lifestyle but also um, as I said all my kitchen tools are away so I needed to do something simple. So today is brunch day I'm going at midday having a brunch with my girls and I really hope it's not gonna rain because we're having the table reserved um, outside on the river so it should be nice I really hope. Uh, it's going to be good weather. I don't mind if it's cloudy like now. 
as long as it's not gonna rain. This weekend is going to be definitely over food weekend because today I've got the brunch and tomorrow the dinner with Lorenzo. So I can't really think about the diet. Actually in the last few weeks I was a bit away from diet and all the healthy lifestyle that I was doing. And to be honest with you guys, for two weeks I haven't gone to the gym and my diet was a bit messy. And the reason is because you know when you got lots of things to do and also when your mind is a bit stressed, your body, your body is stressed, all of you, I think you have to prioritize your well-being first. And for me, this period, it was more like putting myself a bit back in place in terms of um, about the house, um, about the new job, because I did this few interviews and I had to study. I wanted to be good prepared for the interviews. So I prioritized other things. So yeah, for today and tomorrow, let's just do an exception. It's my birthday. on London Bridge and me and Lorenzo we just finished well not finished not completely we just um, halfway of unpacking everything in the new flat it's so nice so welcoming and now we're gonna have a dinner our dinner for my birthday but well, it's actually both birthday so yeah we're gonna have a bit romantic relaxed moment he doesn't know yet where I booked so <laughs> Lorenzo, where are we going? Shut. <laughs> 30 seconds. Yeah, 